What is up guys, it is DMG here, and today we're going to be looking at the Inform Mario Mandzukic card. Now, this guy actually looks like he could be a pretty decent striker. I mean, besides the pace, which is only 72, which is honestly not horrible, he has 84 shooting and 88 physicality. Now, I'm not sure why it says I'm the first owner. I, I did not pack him, I just bought him, so I don't know why it says that. But I did manage to buy him with the Hunter card on him, so that means his pace goes up to 85 and his shooting goes up to 95, which is fantastic. So with that Hunter card and with him being on 10 cam, he has 99 positioning, 99 finishing, 94 shot power, and 99 volleys. So he is just, just shooting wise, he's already amazing. And without any upgrades at all, he actually has 96 heading accuracy, 88 jumping, 90 strength, and 91 aggression. So he is just fantastic in the air, who actually go and get it as well, which is super important, at least in my opinion, especially for this year, Steve, if they actually try to get the ball. And he can actually finish in front of net. So hopefully we'll get some good opportunities with guy with this guy, both on the floor and in the air as well. Now this is the team that we put around him. I did have some wingers in the team, mainly because I want to try crossing the ball. That's why I wanted to do it. So then I could see if, if he really is that good in the air. We have El Sharawi on the left with the five-star skills, Barati on the right, who can actually finish fairly well. Asamo and Hamshik along with Allen in the midfield. We got Marco, uh, Mario Rui, who's actually a pretty decent left back. Uh, Koulibaly, Benatia, who are both decent at uh, in, in the center back. Florencia right back, which is my favorite right back in the game so far, and then Pepe Reina in goal. So if you guys are excited to see the most complete pure striker in FIFA 17, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new as well. And without further ado, let's get into a game because I, I this is seriously I, I've always been interested in this in his card specifically over the last few FIFAs because they've been extraordinarily great, like overall for a striker. Hopefully this time. It does not prove me wrong either. Hopefully, he keeps performing really well. All right, let's see the team that we're coming up against. Calcio A team, standard Calcio A team. Niang, Kevin Dini up front. Niang just destroyed me actually last time I played him, so we gotta keep an eye out for him. Sala, Felipe Anderson, Ilicic. Standard team, but it's still actually still pretty good. Now, I'm not really looking to get on the ball with Mandzukic that much because his like agility and his balance aren't great because he's 6'3", but hopefully, we can just get some good, just clean finishes with him, with him in the air as well. Does not really have a long shot, I know that. Does not really have a long shot. Five, four, three, two, one! Just bang it, why not? Oh! Alright! There's Manzukic with a decent long shot! Good lord! Where did that come from? Okay, alright! Fair enough, let's go! Uh, see, if I didn't, wasn't able to get it, why would you drag me? Good, good Reyna, good Reyna. No! Wh what, what just happened? Woo! Now to be fair, he had like four shots all at once, but they were good saves by Reyna, but that's where he got the majority of his shots from. It's, uh, it's kinda, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. He may have deserved a goal. Zukic. One more. That's a goal! Thank you! Good teamwork. That was actually a really good play, to be fair. That was good stuff. Manzukic started it off all the way across, all the way across, and that's a goal. Why not, Mark? What? Oh my god! Fucking Manzukic! Oh! Yo! What? No, 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 That's actually beautiful. For real. But, it's like, cause... There's so many strikers that I... Are you fucking serious? How the hell did that go in? Sir! Oh, I was about to say, that would have been just ridiculously stupid. Berardi? How do you... How does it... How do you do that? It's good. It's not bad. Oh, God, no. Piss off! God damn it! What? What is he supposed to do? Like, what's my goalkeeper supposed to do? Oh, oh, beautiful play, beautiful play. Thank you, 
God, that's all I needed to do. I just need to slow it down. Because the guy just kept charging at me. Good shit, Hamshake. Good, st good stuff from everyone, to be fair. Does he have curve is the question? Oh god, that. I don't think I've ever seen a more pathetic shot than that. That is the end of the game. That was just great for Mandzukic, honestly. He actually did extraordinarily well. First of all, that, and then that, that shot was just fantastic. Hamshik was actually man of the match. So Hamshik got a goal and an assist. Mandzukic got a goal, or two goals and an assist. Wonder why Hamshik was man of the match. Was good on passes, but Mandzukic was also good. To holy shit. Okay, yeah, Hamshik, that's, that's actually really impressive. Let's see who we have for game number two. Premier League team. And that's like above average for right now. Rooney, that's a very slow front actually. Giroud and Harry Kant, pretty slow. So you got, you got pace with Walcott, again slow with Mata. Slow with Schweinsteiger, slow with Terry and Cahill. So it's a fairly slow team, except for Walcott. So hopefully we can try to take advantage of that. Oh god, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna, this is gonna be the downfall. Oh, thank god. What? Uh, Alright, Asamoa. Asamoa to the big! Oh my god, if there's just more power, that's a goal. Mizukic! Oh. One more. Allen! It's the weakest shot I've ever seen in my life. Allen, just. God, thank god. Fucking Allen. He's just walking him to the goal. Oh, make the run, Manzukic. Holy shit, Manzukic, how do you still have it? Now this is Berardi's time. Oh, god damn it. How, what is, what is just going on? What, what, what is this lag? Oh my god, this lag's pissing me off. Just take it! It's literally right in front of you! Just stick out a goddamn foot and you have the ball! Let's, let's see what happens here. Oh! Jump! Head it! Fucking Berardi! No, I'm not going to, cause fuck you, right? Yeah, fuck me. God. Seven shots, only two on target. God. It's gonna be- it's one of those games, right? Finally. God damn it. Finally, basically. Tackles don't matter, so the goalkeeper has to get it. Good shit, Manzukic. See you, Manzukic. Making the good run. Manzukic! Good shit, Manzukic. Hell yes. Gets the header, makes a good run, stops, turns, puts it in the back of the net. Thank God. Good shit, man. Oh, see? Oh, look, I was right. If you did exactly what I said and then... How does he... What? Good shit, Reyna. I don't understand, like... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Come on, we got this. We got this. Good Florenzi. How in the god name... God, what the fuck did I just say? How in the hell did he get that? I love- Koulibaly is just the worst center back because he has 80 some physical and 82 defending, yet he's the worst center back I've ever played with. I said I like I don't care. It's the end of the game. We won two we we won. We won for Mario Mandzukic and a lot of our players. God damn. Thank God for that. Mandzukic, Hamshik man of the uh, was he got the goals. Barati Asamoa had the assist. Barati was man of the match. A like, Koulibaly, one for four on tackles. He's so bad. I hate him so much. He is just the worst center back ever. So that is it for the gameplay, guys. Now, in terms of Mario Mandzukic, I would recommend him. He is a pretty good striker, especially in front of the goal. He wins headers for you constantly, which is a huge bonus, especially for just getting off of like goal kicks and stuff like that. He's very good in front of the goal. 
and he makes very good runs. Very good runs. Like last year, he was decent. He was really good in front of the goal, but his runs were terrible, honestly. That's, at least that's what I thought. This year, it's very different. I thought his runs were very, very good. He's not great on the ball, and his passing's not that great, admittedly. But besides that, he's just a very good, pure out and out striker. I assume that he would be pretty good with a two striker front. Like, if you paired Mandzukic with Dabala, that'd be unstoppable, I feel like. Because Dabala is obviously like the guy who can dribble and maneuver really well. And then he just like laid off to Mandzukic if he has to, and then Mandzukic could just put it in the back of the net. So I bought Mandzukic for 29,500 coins. And again, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I would recommend him. And I will say real quick. Do not buy Koulibaly, shittiest center back I've ever played with. Don't know why he's so bad, like 82 defending, 86 physicality, that seems great, especially with the fact that he's 6'5", that seems amazing. Terrible. Can't use him. He just, he has the ability to do stuff, but he just won't do it. He cannot knock anyone off the ball, I don't know what it is, he's terrible. Well, Benatia is actually very good. I love Benatia. Benatia was a star in the last few games. He was great. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this player review. If you guys want me to, like, review anyone else, just let me know, and I'll try to do that for you guys. But like I said, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace. Please. It's, like, not even an info. Come on. Okay. Oh! Uh, wait. Oh. Donnarumma! No, I'm fine. There you go. Yeah. That's not bad. It's like, three big flares, and I'm like...